Got some sixties in my bag. Lips sealed like pillow talking on the rag. In my earlobe, got two carrots, VVS. Got a pen on Snero Dale, I'm for straight. Bad bitch, still talking cash shit. Pussy like water, I'm a brother in relaxing. I would never trip on a nigga if I had him. Bitch, that's my trash, you the man, so you back him. I said, yeah. tickets now you might as well enjoy it uh, at the back we've got richard your skipper my man hey give him a say hello richard, hello, hello, richard. <laughs> all right guys we're going to do some quick health and safety okay anyone with any serious back problems Um, and it was also a prison 
where Ronnie and Reggie Cray were one of the last prisoners there in 1950s. We've got the HMS Belfast from D-Day. It's uh, one of three left in circulation, all the rest have been scrapped. But if we were to have a drag race with that, that would win. That's how fast that boat moved. And the cannons, so powerful that when they fired for the first time, all the toilets on board cracked. <laughs> I know, that must have been a bit of a mess, uh, cleaning that up. And this is where it gets really creative. The heading was quite common in the medieval, uh, in the medieval times, and they would behead people that had done criminal activity, put them on spikes around Tower of London, and then uh, warn off any other criminal activity. Be like, if you do something bad, your head's going. Oh, come inside. How are you doing? Nice to see you. Oh, did you see my pineapple? Yes, we're doing very well, thank you. Very well. It's like the equivalent of owning a Tesla today. And, uh, anyone got a Tesla? No? Oh, okay. Well, you would have a modern day pineapple if you did. And uh, this uh, Thames, as we go across it, do you reckon it's clean or dirty? Dirty. Yeah, well, you, the original, and the original was also old and decrepit that fell down onto boats as they passed through. It's not the original, that one. Uh, the original can be found in Arizona, America, where an Arizonian billionaire bought the bridge and we replaced it with another London bridge. Now, if you're into pirate films, Jack Sparrow, Pirates of the Caribbean, there we go, that's Sir Francis Drake's ship. A real pirate ship, a replica oh, yeah. of Sir Francis Drake. It's called the Golden Hind, and it was a ship used in the 1700s to steal gold from Spain. Advertisement board. It lights up red at night on the road if you've ever driven into London. You might have seen the red Oxo lights in the distance. And get your bikinis ready and your board shorts. <laughs> We've got a beach! Anytime London goes above 12 degrees, uh, people seem brave enough for the beach, but uh, today it's actually a lot warmer than 12 degrees, so, uh, but yeah, I've seen people there sunbathing, and it hasn't been exactly the warmest of days. London will sink, okay? If the lion drinks, London will sink. There were police people that would go up and down the Thames, checking at the water level of, um, and whether they reached the lion's mouth, and if it did, because the water level can... Uh, be different in terms of seven to eight meters, it often flooded. So we would have to evacuate the city. London evacuated many times. Now we've got the Thames barrier. We have a, with a black dot in the middle. I sold for two million pounds. Oh. Wow. I'm in the wrong job. <laughs> yes. Cleopatra's needle here, three and a half thousand years old, all the way from Egypt. The Sphinx is either side of it. Uh, are facing towards it, they should be facing away. So they put it like that's amazing. Yeah. Just clear skies, perfect. Oh, beautiful. And we've got the Royal Air Force Memorial here, the Golden Eagle there. Many of them all along the um, the Thames. There are 200 bridges that uh, cross the Thames all together. So it's green, it's the bachelor seats in the Houses of Parliament. Yes, it's also known as the Bridge of Fools, because when they funded this bridge, they funded it through a lottery. People would pay five pounds for this lottery, and when they paid five pounds in 1700s, that was more like 500 pounds. It was a lot of money. So, it's been chiming ever since. Anyone that plays the guitar here, it chimes in the key of E, so you can actually tune the top and bottom string of your guitar to the chime of Big Ben. How glorious. And that's the Houses of Parliament, also known as Westminster Palace, where Boris Johnson is talking about key issues like coronavirus, Brexit, <laughs> whether John Lewis furniture is tax deductible. has it, Daniel Radcliffe is still in there being held hostage until his film is finally released, or whatever that will be. And then we've got St. Thomas Hospital in the distance there. Do you know who worked there?